Dr. Crump. This patient needs attention now. Neurosurgeon said he was on his way down. I was caught on my way out and had to clear an OR. Extradural hematoma. Dr. Waltham seems to have called the shot. That one. That clinic setup of yours may have locked into it again. Well, Doctor, just give credit where credit's due. Joe, my patient, did he make it? Hey, he's in surgery now. Dr. Crump said your diagnosis was on the nose. Well, I guess I was just lucky. Hey, I gotta get back to my clinic. Wait a minute. What's happening? How's everything going down there? Breaking my back and loving it. Why don't you pop in sometime? I've been meaning to. But believe it or not, things can get pretty hectic at this place, too. As long as you're here, I'll spring for coffee. Now nah, I gotta get back. Weekend night coming up, and uh, I'm short-handed. Hey, Mr. in and out Take 10, Ringer. You're all wound up. I was a seven-month baby. I'm still trying to catch up. Thanks for everything, Joe. Hi, Joe. Hi, Paul. I hear uh, Waltham was in here. Well, in and out. You know, the original Cannonball Express. Mm, well, he's going to slow down or he'll wreck the train. The center sent an inspector out to his clinic on a six-month checkup. Routine, right? Sure. Waltham booted him out. That's not routine. Well, he's uh, not always the most charming guy in the world. But it's havoc down there, Paul, working shorthanded under all kinds of pressure. Okay, you defend him. I expect that. You started that clinic and put him into it, but he'll sink it, Joe. The budget department contends he's totally inefficient, and there have been complaints from the police on his lack of cooperation. They want to close him out. Uh, can't do that. That clinic is a commitment to the community. They can, and they will. Joe, you've got 24 hours. The department meets in an emergency session tomorrow. Unless you can change their minds by then, your dream of a citywide clinic program goes down the drain. Mr. Brown's leg, please. Clinic, Miss Troyer. Please hold. I'm Dr. Gannon of the Medical Center. I'd like to see Dr. Waltham. Down that corridor. His office is marked Pentagon. Can I help you? Hello, young man. What can we do for you? I think I got a cold and I'm hungry. Oh, will you go into the waiting room and we'll take care of you? Hello, Ray. How you been? Well, uh, I've been just fine, Doc. I'm a little surprised to see you so soon after our meeting today. But welcome to the Inferno. At least you can't say it isn't roomy. Well, in better times, uh, the neighborhood was loaded with these drafty monsters. Now this is the only one left. The county can't even give it away for back taxes. So I guess it'll be our permanent home until they uh, raise it for a parking lot. So what's up, Joe? You came for a look-see and a talk? An official visit, huh? That's, uh... The pressure's on, pal. The clinic is a target. The uh, budget department sent out an inspector. Oh, I got the picture. I got the picture. I'm Peck's bad boy, huh? Look, Joe, that guy had no orientation. He didn't have the slightest idea to what we're up to down here. Your files are not in order, doctor. Uh, we haven't received your monthly reports, doctor. Uh, the department demands, doctor. I got patients streaming in and out of here, and this clown wants me to butter him. Well, maybe I should have. But if he wanted to be kissed, he should have puckered up. Charm I don't expect out of Dr. Ray Waltham. But civility, yes. As a result of that, uh, 
little indiscretion, and a few other choice bits. The budget department has decided to close the clinic out. And I've been given 24 hours to come up with an answer. Hello, Paul Revere. Look, we know each other for a long time. No waltzing around, huh? All right, straight up. I don't like being told how to run my store. Square suggestions from some clown who doesn't know his backside from bingo about ghetto medicine. Ask questions, but uh, don't shoot till you see the whites of their files. It's a mixed metaphor, Doctor. I want to see your files. I thought you'd never ask. Nitty gritty, Dad. Step right this way for a short order course in ghetto medicine. What is this? Pisces, Gemini, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus, entire galaxy. Those are codes. Aquarius is uh, a male Caucasian over 30. Uh, Pisces is uh, female under 30 and black. A Libra is uh, Spanish American male over 30 and so on. You know, in uh, some instances, the state law requires that patients be classified name, address, color, creed, etc. Yeah. But you know why we started this clinic? to serve those people who cannot or will not go to established hospitals. No questions asked. Could be stretching it a little far. Sometimes, also, by state law, the police have access to medical files. Granted. That's why we deliberately make them skimpy and coded. Medical information they get. Patient identity, they don't get. I'm the artful dodger. You run a cute shop. Why don't you use invisible ink when they get the job done? Kanji. Oh, again? I'm Benji. You promised, kid. Now you hang it. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Heard it all before. Okay. Okay, you just stay put and you keep your mouth shut about everything you got that, no matter what. Everything. Let me tell you something else. The clinic doesn't get priority on deliveries, so I have to con Med Center Supply to get a box of aspirin. Lots of doctors and nurses volunteer, but none of them show up two nights in a row. Tonight's a typical fallout. For instance, I have uh, one doctor, me, two interns, two nurses, one of them inexperienced. And now let me tell you, these weekends are a bummer. You should have hollered, buddy. Let me know just how tough it really is. Hello? Can anybody join this tea party? This place looks like a circus. And you're the head clown, huh, Daggett? Funny, funny. <laughs> Sergeant Daggett, plain clothes. Not again in plain clothes, white coat, greens. Hey, what can I do for you, Daggett? Information. Name, rank, and serial number, huh? No, 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 I have something for you. Hmm. You remember that kid that came in here to get a busted leg fixed up after a run-in with the cops last month? Hmm? Well, it turns out that he is not Sagittarius, but a moon child. Are you hip to his astrological reports, Doctor? Uh, yeah, I know. Well, just to illustrate your colleague's expertise in character study, Moonchild used the cast on his leg to burst through a jewelry store window last night. 
And just to let you know that it takes a little longer without your help, but sooner or later we catch up. Do you get that? Sooner or later we catch up. For your information, Daggett, that kid wouldn't have come in here for treatment if he'd have known I'd turn him in. And the infection on his leg would have killed him. Now, uh, Daggett, if you haven't got a warrant for that chair, would you mind giving it up? I have some work to do. You got it. What's a nice doctor like you doing in a place like this? If you're going to hang around here, would you uh, mind taking off that tie? It's a little much for down here. And, uh... Try not to get in the way, huh? If my experience serves me well, it's gonna be a tough Saturday night. May I have your name, please? And what seems to be the matter? That's what I said, punk. Dirt from the streets. All right, you can call me whatever you want, Gordy, but you just remember what I told you. What I remember is that Gordy the Taylor is one great big golden chump. You kids ain't got dough, I put you on the tab so you won't walk around naked. You got problems, it's Gordy you come to. And what's my thanks? Punks like you coming around talking heavy. Now you get out of here and stay out. Oh, Mr. Johnson, the trousers are ready and just like new. Mrs. Canetti, come sta? C'è male, dottor. Good and bad. Okay, I made some uh, lasagna for you special. Well, you gotta cut that out, Mrs. C. You're gonna make a fat old man out of me. Oh, I'd keep your strength up. Hey, Madge, would you uh, put this in the refrigerator for us, please? You been taking your medicine regularly? Miss Troy will give you some more pills. Now, give us a kiss right here. Now, get on out of here. I have work to do with some sick people. He's such a wonderful man. Your mama must be very proud of you, huh? thought. Very deep for a self-inflicted one. It was a big knife. You do intend to make a report on this? It'll be taken care of. I'll handle this. scary. How is he? Well, we'll patch him up. You know, you don't look so good yourself there. Runny nose, sweaty. What's your name? Benji. I just got a cold. You uh, practicing medicine without a license? What's your family, Benji? 
My pa's dead. Vietnam. My ma works late in the factory. She'll pick me up. Hey, about that guy. You say he'll be okay, huh, Doc? Keep your mouth closed now. Clinic telephone aid. You can smear anything you like on his chest, but that stuff is best between two slices of bread. One moment, please. Finish with the stab wound patient. I want to see him as soon as he's in his room. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, this young boy's been hanging around over here. He's got a fever. Put him to bed and keep an eye on him. Away. I'll take care of it. Yes. Yes, I heard you. I don't care what you read in the journal digest. Aspirin. Oh. You got any more information on this stab wound? Only his name. John Smith. John Smith. Huh? Well, it's enough for our purposes. Another Aquarius? You're catching on. Great. I expect a police report to be made out. No. No report's going to be made out. <laughs> you just put your good right hand on that phone, Doctor. You know what you're asking me to do? Betrayal. That's right, you're asking me to betray my clinic. I mean, the clinic survives on community faith. A major part of ghetto medicine is that all patient treatment is kept in the strictest confidence where establishment agencies are concerned. I know why I pushed this clinic idea through. I also know why I chose the man I did. Oh, I bow to the yeast. Come on, Joe. You dreamed up the idea of the clinic, you put me in charge, now it's up to me to run it. Look, Joe, the State Medical Board tacitly allows me to file astrological reports. You know why? Because it's cheaper in the long run to keep a case medical than to let it balloon criminally. I mean, the county values the information and the statistical data that this clinic can provide for uh, public health. I've done my homework. You're a major control source in venereal disease. 4,000 cases reported last year. You're on top of hepatitis and the so-called ghetto diseases. Doctors? The patient with a stab wound is in the Persian room. Still 100 over 68. Vital signs are stable. Well, we can forget this one for now. No, we can't. This is a stab wound, and that is still a felony. Don't make me start citing the rules to you again. I know the rules. But I've got to do it my way. Look, Joe, a one-night stand doesn't make you an expert. I'm here day in and day out. I live with these people. And I respect the job you're doing here. But that doesn't alter the situation. Hey, Joe. Yeah, will you tell that committee that on my desk is a pile of heartbreaking letters from parents all over the country pleading for information about their runaway kids. And you tell them that this clinic is one of the few places those kids turn to when they need help. Bend some rules if you have to, break others if you must, but this police thing is bedrock. Or are you going to try and kick me out, too? Would that stop you? No. Joe, call them and the clinic dies. Did you come here to save it or to bury it? I came here to work with you and the police. Now, do you call them or do I? Give me a line. <laughs> That's your story, huh? You fell on your knife while cleaning it. Yeah, that's right, it fell. Do you always clean your knife? Sideways? Yeah, well, I was kind of careless, you know. Where's your knife now? I lost it. Where'd you lose it? In someone's gut? How many times? Come on, get him out of here, will you? Get him out of here. Come on, quit bugging him, will you, Daggett? And you stop covering for him. Now, you listen. He gives you a phony story. He don't even give you his real name, John Smith. Now, you have just got to be kidding. What have you got here, Doctor? Another Sagittarius? Aquarius. Garbage. He's probably got a record as long as my arm. All these kind of punks nowadays think they got it made, that they're above the law. Well, you want to know something? He's headed for a crash. And you want to know something else? The guy that he's tangled with probably already took the dive. All right, Sergeant, that's enough. 
You've been helpful, Doctor. Well, the wound is reported. The boy's in no condition to talk any further. You want him, you can pick him up when he's released. Oh, yeah. I'll be back. Aquarius. Get it, Benji. Just go on on home. You're here, so I stay here. Well, then why don't you listen to me? I ain't just your brother, Benji. You know, I'm father and mother. Holding down a job while you're just running loose on the streets. It's too heavy, Benji. I'm OK, Pete. Honest, I'm behaving. You're a lying brat, too, you know? Well, you scared me when you passed out. And blood. What'd you do? Don't know nothing, Benji. That way you can't say nothing. Now, will you listen to me for once? Just listen to me and promise. Petey, just tell you me. Shut up and promise me. Okay, okay. Well, just don't holler at me, Pete. Listen, no matter what happens to me, you're going to have to take care of yourself for a little while. I want you to keep your grades up in school. You got that? I ain't going to no institution. No, no, you're not going to go to any institution. Don't worry about it. You got that B in English, I'm real proud of you. I hate English. Yeah, that street's worse. Got to beat that street, Benji. Man, you're gonna beat that street. Go out, I'll split. You still didn't tell me what happened. Well, don't ask fool questions. I don't want you around here when the cops find out who I am. Well, what did you do so terrible that the cops want you? I fell on my knife. You never carry no knife. Go on, Benji. Beat it out of here. Go home and wait for me. Petey? Who did it to you? One, you want me to get out of here and punch your head in? Okay, okay. Pete? I like this, Pete. Honest to God, I like it better when you holler at me. No more police cases on it, but there are two more people in the waiting room who need some attention. I don't think they're police cases either. We'll both work hard. Try to make this a promise land. Yourself. 
I fell. My concern's a wound. If you're in pain, I'll give you something to help you out. No, 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 I'm okay. Oh, is that kid still around here? Is he still out there? Benji, you know him? Oh, I, you know, I must have scared him out of this place when I flopped at his feet. He's still here. Doctor? Um, Who is it? Well, <laughs> nothing really. Just thanks. Really, man, you're a group. Now yeah, you rest it now. Wanna talk? I'll come back and listen. Sometimes that helps. Yeah. Two boys ask about each other. It's uh, more than just a casual relationship. Well, that's Daggett's department. Where there's a molehill, he'll make a mountain out of it. Ray, that wound wasn't made by a knife. Had to be a bigger instrument, perhaps a pair of scissors. And I don't happen to believe it was self-inflicted. Well, uh, you just worry about the budget committee. And try uh, being concerned about getting us some up-to-date equipment. And priority delivery on uh, medicinal. Look at my lap. Can't say it's exactly the last word. Kind of free with your possessives, aren't you? I mean, considering this all shows up on the center's ledger. Yeah, well, I'd like to see a little of the center's equipment show up on my ledger. But with what we have, at least we can manage. Uh, this is a uh, sputum smear of a coal miner from Appalachia. He has black lung. He's also on welfare. And I'm not filing a report with them, either. For the sacred cow? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. You've created enough of a morale problem poking around here. Come on, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Why not report his condition to welfare? Because when his creditors find out that he's ill, they move right in and repossess everything he's got. For fear he won't make the payments. You know, you're a medical practitioner, not a sociologist. If you don't start towing the mark, no one's going to get any service around here. I have to square up with that budget committee tomorrow. Unless we come up with a new play, we lose. So does everyone that comes here for help. The baby out with the bathwater, huh? You know, it's not difficult to run with the majority. Or to conform to a set of rules made up by some committee that's at least five years behind the times. I'm trying to save your bacon and cook their store. Why don't you let me run my business my way? Your way? My way. No, a way. Before this evening is over, I'm going to find an answer that'll keep this place going. Even if it means nailing my hide? If it comes to that. Emergency, Kodiak, Warehouse Alley. <laughs> Yeah. 
He's with us. I'll check on the ambulance pickup. Will one be available? Most of the ambulance services can't come here. They're afraid of the neighborhood or that they won't get paid. Try the center. I have. They're backed up, but they'll try and make it. We could do better by mule pack. I'll try the fire department. Clinic, you have the wrong number. This is not Jenny's topless. Doctor, come quick. What is it? Benji, he broke into the drug locker. He mentioned somebody. Petey, Petey said it and then fell. <laughs> Indeed. You mean endotracheal too? Five milligrams an hour feet. You get welcome. You wasn't even breathing. Morphine antagonist? Done. Right under my nose. Mine too. It just isn't enough time to do everything. Take over here, will you? Pete. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Pete. Well, wake up. Stay awake. Ah. Uh. Benji. Benji, it's OD'd on morphine. Now, what are you to him? Brother, friend? Benji! Talk to me. Overdosed. Oh, no! He's my brother. Come on, come on. Let's have the rest of it before the police get here. Oh, no, no cops. Benji's dying. How do you tie in? Gordy, he's the tailor at the end of the block. He was pushing to him. I want to see that louse to tell him that if I catch him pushing once more, I'd get him. Oh, now the cops are going to find out. Find out what? I killed Gordy. How do you know that? He pulled these scissors and jabbed me real good, but I, I knocked him against that. Precipice scene, I got him real good. Wait a minute. I don't care about me. You, you've got to save Benji. Really, you got to save Benji. Come on, Benji. Benji. Oh, Benji. <laughs> Benji. Wonderful. That's good. Doctor, the fire department rescue squad will be here for the cardiac. We'll need him for Benji, too. Where's the taser shot? Right over there. Come on. machine. And the sharp object on it punctured his body. And the angle it could be the left lung. Uh, profuse hemorrhage in the thorax. Well, let's go, doctor. From the looks of this man, he won't last an hour. Man. After what he did to Benji, he doesn't deserve to live. He's a patient. You don't work on him. You don't deserve to practice. Is that a threat? That's a fact. Got a 
about writing on this guy. If he dies, Pete faces a murder rap. They don't need a transfusion. You got any plasma? No. We miss out on those goodies here. No dextrose either. It's been ordered, but so far, no delivery. Very primitive here, doctor. All of us are blood tank for emergency. Got a vacuum transfusion container? There's one on top of the refrigerator. Get it, nurse. We need his blood type. Don't freeze on me, nurse. I'll get it. He is a responding dog. Better try another five milligrams of nalapine. Type AB. Let's go. Where's the container? It's gone. I looked all over for it. What do you mean it's gone? It was on the refrigerator. It's gone. I did it. I, I broke it. My fault. I, I broke it. I, I hit the pieces. My fault. We can still transfuse if we go direct. I've been clever, lied, and even cheated to get things done around here, but to try something like that. Make do. He needs arterial blood and arterial pressure. We can draw from the brachial artery. You got an AB donor? No. But we have a universal type donor. Type O. Match? Yes, of course I'll do it. Uncross match blood. Pretty risky. You could kill him. He'll die if we don't try. I'll lower the table. Out of sight, man. Just great. Temporary. He's still gonna need surgery to repair the damage. Yeah, well, that procedure's well beyond clinic facilities. Let's try a call to center, get a chest pump over here and four units of plasma. Alive until we can get it back to the center. I'll look in on Benji. Yeah. We're gonna pull through, Doc. Doing all we can. What about the kid? I'm gonna need him as a witness. This may look like a prison ward, Sergeant, but it's a hospital. His heart just stopped. Doc. Well, I think he's going to be all right. This is one report I'm not going to mind filling out for you. Eh. One thing I want you to understand, Doc, I admire what you're doing over here. It's just your unorthodox way that bugs me. But like I said, you're doing a hell of a good job. Well, thank you, Daggett. How's the kid coming along? I don't know. I was just going upstairs to find out. Just... 
Joe. Never even regained consciousness. Gunning for the clinic. Maybe this will keep you from having to have a knockdown, drag out fight to save it. That's a lot of character, aren't you? What's the matter? You run out of fire and brimstone. Benji was the proverbial last straw. This is some night to remember. You know, the idea is to save the clinic and you. I happen to think you're both special. I'm not gonna be proven wrong by you. Having you and your experiences thrown out. Joe, I'm me. Ray Waltham. Not you. Not establishment medicine, just me. I know who you are, and I know what you are. Uh, you don't even know why I'm here. This is my world, Joe. It's where I come from. There aren't any rules down here. I remember when I was a kid. My little brother swallowed lie. Two hospitals refused to admit him. Emergency, but it was outside of their jurisdiction. And there was this little old doctor who ran a clinic. He took him in, treated him, no charge. Kid brother's walking around today with half a stomach. But he's alive. He is walking around. Thanks to some little old man who uh, wasn't concerned with rules. He was just about helping people who needed his help. experience ought to make you play it even closer to the book. Keep this place going. Let's run it by nice and slow, huh? Two people almost died here tonight. And one 12-year-old child did. It wasn't your fault. Wasn't it? Ray, nobody... Nothing can replace the good you've done here or can continue to do. What he got invested in this medical kit? 10, 15 years? I throw it all away? somebody to pick it up and use it. Not 
wanted so much for Benny to beat that street. Yeah. I know you wanted that. I should have gone to the cops when he first started on that stuff. Well, that meant that we would have been separated. Thought I could scare off that lousy tailor. Well, the um, ambulance will take you both back to the center. I'm gonna get you well so you can testify against him. I'll do it for Benji. You do it for yourself too, Pete. Just try and remember you're not alone. You made a lot of friends tonight. Yeah. Need to remember that. To be exact, it was uh, 12 years, four months, and two days. Why don't you take over here? Let me get back to the center and uh, prepare for that budget meeting. I'm going to have that committee for breakfast, and you're going to stay in business. You can count on it. You mean to tell me I haven't seen the end of you? Mm, just the beginning. I'm going to arrange for you to wear two hats. Get you enough help down here so that I can use you at the center when I need you. What? A very rebellious type of medical student we're getting these days. I think you're just pig-headed enough that uh, they'll tune you in. Now, wait a minute. I don't want one of those square-type jobs. You lost your first war, Doc. Consider it done, we'll clobber him. Correction. That's my territory. And that goes for anything else you put me on down at the center. That'll be my territory also. So I'll clobber them. Including you, if you get in my way. Be my guest. As long as you play by the rules. Mm -hmm. 